Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on January the 26th. Give up the illusion. The culture is going to preach all about deserving and earning, and he says, nope, for me it's about believing and receiving. You deserve a problem-free life. Nope. That is not what it is. We need to believe that he is our source of peace and light. It is possible to enjoy me uh, through, through the adverse circumstances. So the University of Adversity, the School of Hard Knocks, in every one of these adverse circumstances is a lesson and a blessing and an opportunity for us to embrace to pull back in toward the center of his powerful presence. Regardless of the external circumstances, that is not where our identity truly comes from. So when things seem wrong, trust me anyway. It's temporary. It's the highs and lows. It's the cycles. It's ascending, descending. It is the journey. We are focused in our human form on the destination. He says, give up the illusion of all of that. Pour your energy into seeking me, not perfection just the perfect one. The readings for today, the first one is John chapter 16, verse 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. This is an opportunity. I like to say we get to take the gospel to work every single day. We get to take the gospel out into the world every single day, and it is not about placing our Bible on our desk. It is not even about ch quoting chapter and verse. It is being a source of peace and light and hope and discernment. But we have to cultivate that. Give up the illusion that it's going to be problem free, but rather seek the relationship with the perfect one. The final reading is Psalm chapter 12, verses 4 and 7. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright. For the gracious and compassionate and righteous man, for he will have no fear of bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. That is the wheel of fortune, making sure that our identity is not in our circumstances, acknowledging that they are seasons that actually bring us more toward the center, more to his glory, more to his everlasting loving embrace. Blessings will come wrapped in trials. It depends where our focus is. When we are down here at the bottom and we are in the pit, are we looking for miracles? Are we, can we pull out that walking stick and the times he has shown up for us in the past? And that is what is going to help us climb back out, out of the lies of the culture, shedding the lies of the grave so that we can live more fully in his light and in his presence. It's not going to be a problem solving, I mean a problem free world. And we need to shed some of this problem solving energy, trying to seek perfection and just seek the perfect one. So y'all have a super blessed day. Stay connected to the vine and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.